Hi, good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to AP Tech uh, Tutorial. Uh, here I will show you today in this short video how you can get rid of this uh, Windows All uh, file. First, uh, let me tell you that uh, the reason why this Windows All file up here there is because I migrated my computer from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And when that happens, uh, usually Windows uh, leave there the Windows.old uh, folder in the event you want to revert to changes, you want to go back and you want to go back to Windows 10 because you didn't like Windows 11 or for some reason or an application doesn't work in Windows 11 and you want to change it back. OK, so if that is your case, uh, please uh, make sure uh, once you delete it, it's gone forever and you're not going to see it again. So uh, there was no way you will uh, be able to go back if that happens. So let me quickly show you how you do it. Uh, you cl click here on my PC. And then uh, first, let me start from the very beginning. Click on the uh, Window uh, Explorer. Click on the uh, this PC and then right click on the C drive, OK? And then click on Property. When you come to Property here, uh, select Disk Cleanup. And when you select on Disk Cleanup, make sure you select this one here, clean up system file. So the system will automatically remove anything uh, related to the old operating system. In my case, Windows 10. So I'm just gonna click on that. It's gonna take a little bit of time. I'm just gonna pause the video for now and wait until that uh, menu comes up again. As I mentioned, uh, this, uh, this little window will pop up and it says this clean up is calculated how much space you will be able to free from the C drive. OK, just leave it there. I'm just going to pause the video again. So uh, until it gets to the end. OK, the next thing that's going to happen is uh, this uh, window here will pop up and I need you to look at the uh, select here. You can select the Windows upgrade lock files because uh, you don't necessarily need them. These are temporary files that sit there. Uh, the Microsoft antivirus, if you want to delete it, it's up to you. Uh, mind you, you're not uninstalling an application here. You're just removing temporary files that you don't need, all right? Not necessarily need. So I'm just going to go down, all the way down, and look here. It says here, previous Windows installation. It has 15.5.5, almost 16 gigabytes of space there that I'm going to uh, recover. Uh, I'm just going to recover it. Uh, once I do this exercise. Okay, I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to permanently delete this file? Make sure you are 100% sure. And then go ahead and go and, and, and select delete files and wait. It, the process is going to take a little bit of time. And um, it says here, it's going to give you a warning that if you clean up the previous installation or temporary installation file, you will no longer be able to restore the machine back to a previous version of Windows. All right. So that's what I explained to you before. You, I'm just going to say yes. I'm just going to get rid of it. And that's about it. So let me go back in here. Let me show you it's 428 gigabytes. I'm going to recover 15. And you will see that the space here will increase. So in the meantime, I'm just going to leave this running. I'm just going to pause the video and come to the end and show you the result. OK, uh, the process uh, completed. So I'm just going to click OK. And I'm just going to uh, right click here, uh, somewhere around here. Uh, just going to click on Refresh. And as you can see, it went for 428 gigabytes for to 441 in total. So, um, I recover approximately uh, 16 gigabytes of space. All right. So, and when you click double click on it, the Windows all is gone. Okay, that's the end of the video. If you like it, please give me a, a, a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and have yourself a great day.